going to teach you how to use micropipettes. Here we have a set of three different Eppendorf micropipettes that each pipettes a different volume range. The P1000 pipettes between 1000 microliters and 100 microliters. The P100 pipettes between 100 and 10 microliters. And the P10 pipettes between half a microliter and 10 microliters. They each use the different tips um, that fit onto this end of the pipette. So let's talk about the parts of the pipette. First of all, you're going to hold the pipette like this. If you're left-handed, you'll hold it the same. It goes like this. It has a number of parts. So here we have a screen where we can, we can determine how much volume we're going to pipette. Right now it's set to 1,000 microliters. To change that, we turn this dial. You see it? Now I have changed it to 950 microliters. It's very important to, to, um, to dial the pipette only within its range. If you go outside of its range, so for this pipette to go below 100 microliters or above 1,000 microliters will be inaccurate and will damage the pipette. Other parts of the pipette are the plunger. This plunger is pressed in till you feel, feel till you feel resistance, and that will that will determine how much volume you pick up. Then it has a second stop. If you press harder, you'll be able to blow out residual liquid in the tip. It also has this part here that allows us to eject the tip and the tips go on here. So let's put a tip on here. They each have their own, their own uh, tips. We should press firmly, but not so firm that you break, um, break the plastic. The objective is here is to get an airtight seal so that the tip doesn't leak. Pipette boxes should be closed when not used so that dust doesn't fall into these um, very clean tips. And there are different ways that you can press the plunger. You could press the plunger with your thumb at this position. Um, if you're experienced, it may be fine. For beginners um, and people who want to use more control and maybe desire to move your thumb forward, you will have more, more control and more power here. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pipette um, 1,000 microliters of this blue colored water by pressing to the first stop in the air. It's important to do this in the air and hold. Then place it very, very shallow into the liquid, the tip very shallow, maybe like two or three millimeters into the liquid. And then release the plunger slowly. It's important to go slow to be accurate. And take the liquid out. At this point, we would never turn the pipette upside down because water would go into the shaft. So we always want to keep it at some angle downward. If you wanted to see whether your, whether your volume is accurate, you could use the balance. I'm going to pipette this onto this weighing boat here. 1,000 microliters should weigh pretty close to, to one gram. And you can see that we get 0.9929 grams. That's pretty close. Then finally, when we, after we use a tip, we want to eject it. And to eject it, you press, you press this, this thing here into your um, unwanted pin. The other pipettes, um, and they have a different range. So again, the P100 has a range of 10 to 100 microliters. They're written on them. Do not dial outside of that range. You'll notice that the P100 has, um, has a line right here. That line is basically like the decimal point. So right now this reads 100.0. If I adjust it, you can see I can make it 95.5 microliters. Otherwise the operation is pretty much the same. 
Again, we'll hold our thumb, thumb in this area, and it uses a different tip. And again, we press the plunger into the first stop in the air, submerge it in the liquid two or three millimeters, and slowly pipe it up. Here we got our water. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pipe this into the waste and eject this tip. The P the P10 has a range between 0.5 and 10 microliters. And you can see the line here, which is the decimal point, is in the middle. So this reads 10.00 microliters. We could change that to whatever we want as long as we stay in the range. So I'm going to put this at uh, 8.91 microliters. 8.81 .8 microliters, sorry. Okay. Again, it has different tips. These are how these tips look. Again, press the plunger in to the first stop. Put it in the liquid. Yeah. To pipette out. Get pipette out. And you notice that the droplet doesn't, doesn't leave the pipette tip, right? For small volumes, often the, vo the, water may, um, the water or solution may hang on the pipette tip. What we need to do is just touch this to the side of the container. And you can see that it goes off. And then we press to the second stop to blow out any extra liquid. And then finally we can eject the tip. Now what if you wanted to pipette out of a bottle with a small opening? It is, it is not desirable to pipette um, where you place the shaft of the pipette into the bottle. The reason is that you could cross-contaminate your solutions. It's very possible that you could touch the shaft of this bottle, I mean the shaft of this pipette, to the sides of this glass. And then if you did that in multiple bottles, you would be cross-contaminating between the bottles. So a better way of pipetting is to get our tip. We can turn the bottle on its side so that the liquid is close to the mouth now and touch the pipette tip actually to the glass so that, so that we're making contact with the glass and getting the pipette in there. Notice that the pipette tip is still, is still a little bit outside of the bottle and the shaft is completely outside of the bottle so it's impossible to cross contaminate now. We can draw up our liquid and then we can take it to where we want to dispense it. Again, we can pipe it here. And again, you see we don't have one of the drops hangs. But if we press to the second stop while touching to the side, we can blow that off. Anyway, that's the basics of how to use some micro pipetting, um, Appendorf micro pipette. Thank you for watching.